Welcome to Six Gun Guitar. This is Electric Bass Series. We're getting down to the wire here. Um, I already have a couple of coats of finish on the bass, which I'll show you. Um, but I just did the wiring over here for the two volumes in the tone. Um, I'll show you what I did over here with the soldering iron and everything like that. Um, wiring up this stuff is fairly simple. Um, either find a schematic online or you use one provided to you if you buy a wiring kit from a place like Stuart McDonald. Um, and Stuart McDonald, I know for sure, has all their wiring diagrams online. So you can pick up all that stuff and you don't have to worry about whether it's wired right or not. So let me take you over to the bench and I'll show you a couple of things uh, as far as the wiring goes. And I'll show you a little jig to help make wiring a little bit easier for you. This is the little wiring setup that I made. Um, all I did was I just took a piece of wood and I drilled a few holes in it for the pots to sit in upside down. It makes things a little bit easier because the pots are already going to be sitting there. And it's going to be really easy for you to follow which tag goes to which and whatnot. The wiring diagram that I got, this is from Stu Mac. Um, I just bought their jazz based wiring kit. And it came with three pots, it came with a capacitor, it came with all the wire, it comes with the input jack. And it comes with just about everything. I'm going to wind up swapping out this input jack for an end pin style jack. Um, not exactly one with an end pin on it, but I need a longer, skinnier jack um, just because of the situation I'm in with where my control plate is. Um, I just wasn't able to route that close to the edge and I didn't want any overhang so I didn't really like how the thing was going to look you know if it was if it was here I was going to have to route a plate all the way over to the edge and I just really didn't want to do that so I'm going to drill a nice hole through it'll give me about an inch inch and a half to play with and I'll have my two contacts there that's what this wire is waiting for us is a coaxial wire like I said I just drilled up a couple of holes in here I followed the diagram I just started with my top lugs and it worked all the way across and got everything wired up according to this. I've got my, the big important thing too, actually I'm, I've got all my locations set, but the big important thing too is the way that these three are right here, the way that you rotate this on the guitar, you obviously want to rotate forward as you're playing for more volume and backward for less volume. These are set up to do that thing right now. So when you take these out, you have to take them out exactly the way they are, round, and put them in another way which is going to wind up happening is you're going to go to volume up and you're actually going to be voluming down as you're turning forward instead of turning back like you're supposed to. Um, which, I mean, I guess it's, it's not a small thing, but I mean, it's, it's, not a, it's not a huge thing, but it's not a small thing either. I mean, every guitar in the world works that way and people are going to expect your guitar to work that way too. I ran a nice long ground wire. This is a really thick guy here. I'm going to run this all the way through and I left, this is the braided part of the cable. So what I'll be able to do is get that out of the hole and just kind of splay these out and just give it a tiny, tiny little dab of glue just to kind of hold it nice and sticky. And then I'll be able to lay my bridge right on top of that and it'll be so darn flat it isn't going to make a difference. I'll smash that right down underneath there. But that's the wiring. It's going to sit here for now until the guitar finishes drying. And I'll, I'll take you and show you a couple of things on the guitar once it's dry and show you kind of my finishing strategy here. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm just waiting for the other jack and I'll probably get that tomorrow morning. And once the guitar is done, I just have to drill that final hole for the jack and put these guys in and just run. There's two wires that come down from each pickup. There's um, a hot and, a, and a, there's a light and a dark, you know, so there's a positive and a negative. What I'm going to do is both of the hot wires go to the center lug on the two volume controls because it's a pass-through system. Both pickups are active at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll pull my two wires through on the pickups, you know, through the body, and I'll be able to attach be able to attach my hot lug with a little bit of solder right to the right to the middle poster on each volume and I'll be able to attach my negative you know, right to the back. So it'll be pretty easy, there'll be two solder connections here for the neck pickup, two solder connections here for the bridge pickup and once I put that jack in there'll be another two solder connections here to the jack and this will go straight up to the bridge. So it'll be pretty easy going from here on out as far as wiring goes, this is the hard part. And again just follow the schematic, double check it, triple check it and make sure that you get everything right and you won't have to worry about the base working in the future.